Right, let's just move out the sun a bit. And having seen a few people on the beach, I'm going to add a figure. I usually try and add a figure to add a bit of scale and interest to the scene. So just very simple with some ultramarine blue and a little bit of um, burnt sienna just for a dark shape. And then a, a little bit of red touch of alizarin on the figure. And uh, very simple, just so that it reads correctly. Okay, a few more details in the foreground sand. These suggested shadows, which I have improvised. I don't normally do that, but I didn't want it, the foreground just to be too flat. So I improvised those shadows and with the palette knife bringing in a few thicker passages of paint. Um, when I do this with a palette knife sometimes I'll brush it again just keeping an eye on that edge softening it up a bit and a few sticks a few um, dark accents are also important it's not just about highlights it's also dark accents can do a similar sort of function and bring interest into sort of flat areas so look around your scene get inspired by what is there use what you want to use and big brush sometimes the palette knife just a little too um, how, how to put it a little too hard in the shape um, so loosen it up again with the big brush that um, water's edge, the wet sand, just bringing that around a bit. Of course the curving beach and uh, water's edge is also a nice compositional element to take the eye into the painting. Adjusting these edges and shapes a little, just a subtle differences. Working into the waves touches of a desaturated green just a slightly darker in value a wave is made up of different value shapes from dark through to light uh, a few little touches the sand does come in a bit Getting to the end stages of at least what I'm trying to achieve here. And now it's small touches. Sometimes you can overdo it. So you know, do it sparingly and you can always add in back at the studio. If something really needs to be in there, then put it in. Suggestion of a bit of dune grass here and there, also just to break up shapes. And as I mentioned in the beginning, I need to break up these large shapes on the sand dune as well. Adjust um, edges to keep them soft. Just softening up this edge a bit. Right, let's pack this away for safe travel. I thought I'd demonstrate the matchstick spacer method. Not uh, something you should do without some caution. And as a last resort, if you don't have a wet panel carrier, then this will have to do because I certainly can't cycle back to the studio with a wet painting that's unprotected. So with the spaces in, I sandwich the wet painting to the um, dry panel. The gap is there, so tape it all up nice and tight and secure. And it should be okay for a short trip back. As last resort, this will have to do. And 
finish up. Well, that's been our painting expedition today on the beach in Port Alfred. Can't really ask for much more than this. And hopefully the painting um, turned out okay. I have a close look at it in the studio, but when I'm out here, I'm more or less painting almost instinctively. I'm not fussing about the painting. I just want to get a feel of the scene and experience it firsthand. It's completely different from being in the studio. So utterly different. It can sometimes be a shock to the system because the comfort, your comfort zone is completely missing. So you've got to, you've got to guts it out. You can be quite overwhelmed, not know what you're doing, but you just persist, just persist, just go for it. Just put down paint, look for lights and darks, put those down, look for the big shapes. Don't think about details. Do that back at the studio. This is, this is about getting in touch with your subject. If you reach a stage in your painting and you, you really don't know what else to do, better than to just stop. Just sit, look at the scene, try and fathom out what are the colors you're looking at. Just absorb, like be like a sponge, absorb the feeling, absorb the colors, the smells, the light, and enjoy it. Um, enjoy that moment and maybe you can take those feelings, or I'm almost certain you will be able to take those feelings, the experience back to the studio and it will enrich your painting and you'll feel a lot more freedom back there painting as well. But uh, anyway, I think time to hit the road, get on the bike, take a ride back, have a cup of tea, and then have a look at the painting. Hope you've enjoyed this little outdoor experience with me and um, hopefully we can do a few more. I really do enjoy sharing these moments. Not always easy to capture it on camera, but um, it's been fun. Okay, back to the studio. And indeed, so let's have a look at this painting. Did it survive? Let's get all the tape off, open it up, and uh, <laughs> I hope it's not too smudged. But um, okay, looking all right. A few matches moved around. Easy to fix that up. And um, there it is, done, happy. Mm -hmm.